Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. We have a box opening today. And that is a huge, um, that's a huge thing because I think it was only a few videos ago that I told you guys, you know, I'm not gonna get any more dolls. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mind you, I think I did put a caveat on that. I did say, I'm not going to get any more dolls, I don't think. Anyway, Amazon took this out of my hands because um, I was on Facebook the other night and I got a pop-up from Amazon showing that they had this baby on sale and... Oh my goodness gracious. I have looked at this baby a thousand times in the last year. Like, no word of a lie. A thousand times. Because it is the replica sculpt of my all-time favorite sculpt. My absolute all-time favorite sculpt. And you guys are probably all going, I know, I know, because you guys know what my favorite sculpt is. Anyway... It was too expensive. I just, you know, I have, I have two of this sculpt and, uh, that are, you know, um, they're authentic sculpts from, you know, like master artists. And, uh, I had no intention of getting a third. Um, but honestly, I, I have looked at this this baby a lot on Amazon, but it was too much money. I wasn't going to spend that money. And then I get this pop up and it's on sale and it's a really good sale. And I just thought to heck with it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And, um, and I don't know, you know, um, I ordered this doll from a company called Wham Doll and, um, and I've seen a lot of videos of people opening Wham dolls. It's spelled W-A-M, Wham doll. And I have, I've seen a lot of videos of people opening Wham dolls and they always look really nice. And the reviews for this doll on Amazon were really good. Like this doll had five stars or five and a half, five and three quarter stars, I think. And then all the pictures that people had put in, the, in you know, their comments, um, they, it looked really good. This doll looked really good. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. And, uh, you know, I know I'm going to get the usual amount of uh, nasty comments that I always get uh, when I either talk about replicas or, you know, the one replica that I did purchase um, my Tobiah, um, replica, uh, you know, I know I'm going to get some nasty comments, but you know, honestly, if you, it's, I'm going to put in the title of this video that I am opening a replica sculpt. Um, so I really hope that people are just going to, you know, give it a, give it a miss rather than come on my channel, come to the country cottage and give me a bunch of hate because, um, you know, that's just dumb. You know, if you're against replicas, then don't, you know, don't bother, you know, don't bother uh, clicking on the video, you know, like do something else with your time. Go volunteer at a food bank or, um, you know, anything, anything, you know, bake cookies for your next door neighbor. Anyway, I have got an iced coffee going. Um, Grab yourself a cold drink or a hot drink. Um, get into a nice comfy chair with, you know, maybe a quilt. You can tell it's chilly here today because I'm feeling all sweatery. And, and uh, anyway, get into a nice comfy chair and let's get into this Wham doll. And um, please comment down below if you know what sculpt this is already because I... If you follow my channel, you know what my all-time favorite sculpt is. And I'm, I'm still kind of shocked that I that I did this because, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm shocked. <laughs> I thought about it. Do you know I actually bought this doll twice? 
um, on Amazon and then went back in a few minutes and canceled my order because I chickened out. And uh, you probably went thinking, why did you chicken out? Partially because I didn't want to take, you know, the heat for purchasing another replica um, and partially because I wasn't sure if I, you know, wanted another replica in my collection, you know, because that's taking up a space that maybe an authentic baby could take. Um, but anyway, the sale happened. I ordered and here we are today. So, okay, let's, let's get into this box opening. I'm, yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, so first of all, like I said, this is the company that produced this replica sculpt. Um, and I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube of this particular company's replicas because, you know, there's a lot of different companies um, that make replicas, as we all know. This is actually a little birth certificate. That's cute, eh? Um, anyway, I, yeah, there's a lot of different companies that make these, you know, uh, my first, um, my first replica, my Tobiah came, came from MPK, which is, you know, seems to be a very popular um, replica company. So, um, but I have, like I said, I've seen videos of the, of this company, Whamdoll, and their replicas always look very nice and, um, like pretty decent quality. So I'm going to be really doing a lot of, um, like I'm going to do a really detailed, uh, uh, what do you call it? Details video. <laughs> I'm going to do a really detailed details video um, of this doll because I really, really want to show you, um, my dolly friends and sisters, exactly what you're going to get for $100. And that's what I paid. $100 Canadian, um, which is a heck of a lot less in, in American. Um, $100 Canadian um, was the sale for this this baby girl and is a girl and um, and like I said I have two um, I have two of this uh, same sculpt in authentic um, done by you know really amazing artists uh, maybe even master artists I'm not don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure um, no, yeah, one is a master artist. Um, the other I'm not 100% sure about. Anyway, um, and I'm going to be doing some comparisons because the, the authentic dolls that I have are, you know, I paid somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000 for those two. This I paid $100 for, this, this baby girl. So, um... Yeah, is this is going to be very exciting. Okay, let's get into this box. Oh my gosh, I'm doing all this yapping and you guys are probably like, open the box, open the box. So, you know, here we've got your standard Amazon brown paper. Lots of it. Holy cow, there's a lot in here. I wish they wouldn't, you know, use quite so much uh, brown paper, to be honest, because, uh, but I, of course, will recycle it. Okay, so here's Baby, and it looks like she is in a, oh, this is really interesting. It looks like she's in like a canvas bag, like she's in a big, huge Ziploc, but look at the bag. It says Doll Reborn and a cute little baby. That's kind of cool, eh? So I'm going to get this box out of here. And I'm going to move you guys over. I've got a boppy set up. And I think I'm going to bring the ring light over closer. So that, uh, we, because it's, you know, pitch dark again here in my part of Canada. It's, di you know, it's after dinner. So, of course, it's pitch dark. So I just want to give you guys a little bit more light. Okay, so 
Where's the head? Oh. Is that the head? Yeah, I think that's the head. Okay, so I'm gonna open up. Are you guys seeing this okay? Okay, so I am going to open this massive Ziploc bag. And so right out of right right out of the chute, this doll was packaged very safe, you know, very securely, very safely. Um, I wish they didn't use quite so much paper because, you know, those are trees <laughs> that they're making that paper out of. Um, this baby is in a um, off-white canvas bag with it. Look at it's got like a. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And like I said, it says doll reborn on it and I will reuse this bag this bag is really cute like I don't know what I'll put in it maybe loveys or something but that is super cute I really like that and then it's got this cute little giggling baby on it what's the baby doing that's really cute it looks like it's it's like a little baby girl and it looks like it's sitting on a ball Cute, very cute. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm thinking, um, you know, I, I really want to take my time with this because I'm thinking this will definitely be my last replica baby. And it's it's not because I, I don't like them. Um, well, I love the one that I have. Um, Esme, of course. You guys know how much I love her. But... In all honesty, I prefer Authentics um, because uh, I, pr I pr personally prefer Authentic Babies because of the artistry, because these dolls are manufactured, um, you know, in, in, in mass, in a warehouse. And, um, and I prefer, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the art of an authentic baby that an artist has, you know, sat down in their studio and done just specifically for me um, or not you know not necessarily a custom but just made in their studio I just that is my my um, one of my biggest things about this hobby and this uh, is is the art of each individual artist's painting and rooting and so that's why I really hesitated on whether I wanted to add another um, add another uh, doll to my, you know, a, a replica to my collection just because of the space. You guys know that I um, don't want to take up, you know, space. I, I, I like my collection as it is now. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, you know, I, I love, love my authentic, uh, my authentic babies. And I love Esme, my um, replica equally. But given a choice, I prefer the, uh, the artistry of the individually made dolls. Just to clarify things. Okay, so there is a bag in here. Um, but who knows? Maybe I love this baby so much. I'll... <laughs> um, geez, I think I'm going to need scissors for this. Am I going to need? Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay, I have no idea. Oh, okay. So, so we have a bottle. We have a little bottle with a pink top, and it's got a little, um, looks like it's got uh, little balloons all over it. That's cute. So, we got that. And then, this is really interesting. We've got a diaper. We've got a diaper with little puppies all over it in uh, yellow and mauve and uh, pink. That's cute. That's a really nice touch for, for them to add the diaper. And then this is really cute. Look at this pacifier. It's got a kitty on it. So it's, you know, a so she obviously takes a magnetic pacifier and it's got a cat on it. And I really like that. That is a cute, cute pacifier. Very cute. Okay, but this is a real surprise, you guys. Look at this. 
this? It's a baby bracelet. Now that is a real surprise. Let's open this up and have a look at it. Yeah, it's a baby bracelet. I've actually never seen, um, you know, because I do watch box openings, replica box openings, and I've never seen uh, them send a little bracelet. Isn't that cute? Very, very cute. I really like that. That is a nice touch. So far, I'm giving uh, Wham Doll a 10 out of 10. So hopefully the baby's not, <laughs> you know, a big hot mess. So let's pull her out of this. Yeah, I really like this sack. It's cool. I will definitely reuse it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not going to show her face. I'm not going to show her face yet. Let's have a look at limbs first instead of getting all caught up in the face. So she's got, um, what do you call it? She's got foam on her legs. Boy, her legs look. I mean, I know you guys know already that this is the Maddie sculpt. This is a replica Maddie sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And, um, and she is, uh, she is at, got an ethnic skin tone. Wow. Well, one thing right out of the, what, uh, right out of the shoot, she, um, she's like, her limbs are hollow. They don't have any polyfill, but her skin tone is really, it's, her skin tone is really nice. She's also modeled. She's actually modeled quite well. She's got a vein right there. Yeah, she's modeled. Do you know what um, her skin tone reminds me of? Oops. <laughs> no peeking. Um, her skin tone reminds me of um, my... Um, my girlfriend, um, my girlfriend whose uh, children are um, part East Indian. So her husband is East Indian. She's Caucasian, but her husband is East Indian. And, um, and her kids have this skin tone. Wow, those are toes are done really well. Okay, so let's do arms. And wow, they do package these dolls really well. Um, and she was delivered, she was delivered in 48 hours from the time that I ordered her to when she actually was delivered right to my front door on my island in Canada, remote area. She was here in 48 hours. That's just crazy to me. That's just crazy, crazy, crazy. So there's one limb. Yeah, she's got, yeah, she's got a really beautiful skin tone. I love her skin tone. Um, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't look to me. Uh, she, she, she's, yeah, she, her skin tone is just like my friend. Um, my friend's. Um, little girls who, well, they're not little girls anymore. They're, they're big girls now, but, um, they are, their dad is East Indian and that's, uh, that they have sort of like a, I want to say a mocha skin tone. So she's wearing a little, um, kind of a, a dusty rose, uh, bodysuit with like a little, um, a little bit of chiffon um attached and then like a, it's got gold actually they're not it's kind of cute it's got like little stars and moons and stuff all over it it's not bad at all um i can see she's on she's on a jointed she's on a jointed dose weight body but we'll get into details on another video okay should we do the face let's do the face ready Oh my god. Oh my gosh. 
Oops, it looks like her hairnet's coming off too. Let's just take her hairnet off. She's got she's got a headband and a hairnet. Let's have a look. Here, I'm gonna move you guys in. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, you guys! She's really cute! She's really cute! Okay, so I'll tell you what my initial thoughts are. Her acrylic eyes are decent. Like, I have a real obsession with eyes. I really like glass eyes. German glass eyes are my favorite. Most of the babies in my nursery have German glass eyes. Um, her acrylic eyes are, they're good. Like, they're, they're quite good. Um, her lashes, they're a little spidery, you know. <laughs> Um, you know, they're a little thick and spidery looking, but not, not too bad. Her, um, her mouth painting is good. It's very good. It's very realistic for a, um, you know, an ethnic skin tone, um, baby. It's not too red. It's not too, you know, burgundy or black or... You know, people can get just crazy with ethnic um, skin tone, um, you know, the mouth. Actually, uh, my friend Marisol, we were chatting last night on on, um, uh, on uh, Messenger on Facebook, and she was showing me her new baby. Um, and I think she, I, she, I saw a video come up, so I haven't even watched it yet. I'm super excited. I'll watch it while I'm... Um, while I'm, uh, in bed tonight, but anyway, uh, she gets her skin tones on ethnic babies really well. And I was just telling her that's such a talent because, um, you know, it's, yeah, that's an incredible talent to get, um, that, you know, a realistic color. This baby looks like she is a little East Indian baby to me. And she is really... Beautiful. So she has rooted hair. It's pretty long. Like, look how long. It's curly. It's too long. She's definitely going to need a haircut. Um, She's rooted. Oh my gosh, you guys. I really like her. Hi. 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 Are you so happy to be out of that box? Her eyebrows are really nicely done. She's got some blushing. Um, I mean, she's she's completely hollow. I She's going to need to be, you know, completely, maybe even a new body. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look at her body. But she's definitely going to have to be stuffed with polyfill and, and all that kind of stuff. She's got some crazy hair. Crazy, crazy hair. Um... But it's really soft and it's rooted and it's, I mean, it's very pluggy, but it's not, um, it's pretty pluggy, but it's not terrible. I mean, I've seen some artist made reborns that looked worse, to be honest. Um, she's cute. I'm, I'm I like, I, if you could see me right now, I'm like smiling big time because I really like her and, uh. And I'm like dying to pop her head off and get some polyfill in there because she's like squishy, squishy, squishy. But um, I love her skin tone. I love her. Um, I, I, you know, her acrylic eyes look good to me. Like I, I, you know, usually if I see a baby and the and I don't like their eyes, I just want to like switch them out right away, like immediately. And I don't really feel that way about hers. Her, they're kind of a warm brown. Anyway, um. I have to do, I've got to get this girl's head off. <laughs> that sounds crazy. But I want to get her head filled up. I want to, you know, put some poly pellets in her, give her some weight. And um, and then I'm going to come back with a details video, uh, like, you know, of her entire body. And, and then at some point uh, over the weekend, I am going to do a comparison of um, a $100 uh, replica Maddie Sculpt with a, you know, 
$1,500 um, authentic uh, Maddie sculpt from a, you know, from a master artist. Anyway, that should be really interesting. Really interesting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care. Oh, and before I go, I just want to remind you guys that tomorrow at one o'clock New York City time, which I, I, I don't know what that is, but in New York City at one o'clock tomorrow, my, um, my uh, beautiful sis Marisol over at Marisol's Doll Nursery is doing a, um, a once upon a child sale where she's going to put bundles together and you can purchase uh, her, you know, bundles um, for, you know, a set amount and then of course shipping on top of that. So I've already asked her to go through what she has and look for six month old kind of country cottage stuff because, you know, you guys know that I have kind of a, a specific type of dress of you know, clothing that I prefer, like florals and pastels and, you know, country cottage type wear. So I've asked her to do that for me. Um, and she said she was going to have a look. She thought maybe she had some um, florals. But as far as I know, she's going to go live. Her daughter, um, Rosalind's going to come over and they're going to go live. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I definitely will be tuning in um, for that. And uh, yeah, it would be so fun we can chat with each other you know if she's live we can chat with each other in the comments and um and you know see who's getting what and I think yeah it'd just be incredibly fun so please check that out again tomorrow New York City time one o'clock Marisol's Doll Nursery anyway as always take care <laughs>